Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we go for some pre-owned Rolex watch shopping and we'll have a look what is available and how much the high in demand steel sports watches cost right now. So take a coffee and enjoy the video. We are back at my favorite pre-owned watch store, Timepiece 360, located in the Gold and Diamonds Park. A nice team here with a great selection of watches. We are starting our tour right away with the hot Rolex watches. A steel and gold Rolex Submariner Blue Dial 2023 model year for 17,100 US dollars, what is pretty much the retail price right now. If you are lucky, you could even find, with a bit of asking, one of these models at the boutiques here in Dubai. A fully iced out Rolex GMT Master 2 for 27,000 US dollars. And a discontinued GMT Master 2 black bezel with green GMT hand for around 15,000 US dollars. The king of the Rolex sports watches, the Panda Daytona full set unworn for around 30,000 US dollars. And a white gold GMT Master 2 Pepsi with a blue dial for 49,200 US dollars. Model year 2022 with box and papers. Moving on, we have a Datejust 41 here for 9000 US dollars with a blue dial, followed by a two tone Datejust black dial fluted bezel for 12,500 US dollars and a small white dial 36mm stature steel bezel and jubilee bracelet for around 8000 US dollars. A mother of pearl lady stature with diamonds bezel and diamonds indices for 15000 US dollars and a Wimbledon dial rose gold date on oyster bracelet for 14000 US dollars. A Milgauss black dial, quite rare these days. Maybe one of the Rolex watches that will be discontinued soon and currently it trades at 10,800 US dollars. A green Oyster Perpetual 41mm, also another candidate that might get discontinued soon for around 11,000 US dollars. A Cosmograph Daytona from 2009 for 21,237 US dollars. And another white dial vintage date just and a palm dial two-tone with fluted bezel for 14,400 US dollars. A few more nice Rolex watches in this box. A Submariner 41 mm for 14,000 US dollars from 2022, full set with box and papers. And a vintage Submariner from 1967 for 17,700 US dollars. Especially the vintage one looks pretty cool. Two more Datejust. Both with a Wimbledon dial, one on oyster bracelet with fluted bezel for 11,000 US dollars and one on the Jubilee bracelet with smooth bezel for 10,000 US dollars. I think my pick would be the smooth bezel on Jubilee bracelet. So much for Rolex, moving on with Audemars Piguet. A 2010 Royal Oak full stainless steel in 39 mm for 33,500 US dollars. 
A 41 mm chronograph reverse panda dial for 50,300 US dollars. A Royal Oak Offshore from 2014 for 26,000 US dollars. And another offshore with ceramic bezel for 31,000 US dollars. A blue dial chronograph for 59,000 US dollars. And with that, we have the AP collection over here. All the different Zenith watches. Starting with a discontinued Zenith DeFi Classic. The same model I own personally for 7000 US dollars. And the Zenith Poker Chip, again a watch I own myself for 8700 US dollars. So both models actually trade a bit below the retail price. And I think those are two of the best Zenith watches you can find in the market. So two pretty good picks over here. A Zenith Chronomaster Sport Black Dial for 7800 US dollars. Also this one is quite a bargain compared to the retail price. And another Chronomaster Sport on the strap. An anniversary Zenith Chronomaster which is already sold. and a DeFi Skyline for 5,800 US dollars. So much for the Zenith watches, some great bargains here and also some hard to find pieces. If you are into Zenith, definitely worth a look. The box of mixed pieces. A Breitling R Aerospace Evo Black Dial for 3200 US dollars. And a highlight at the back, the Gira Parago Casquette 2.0 for 4000 US dollars. I think also this is a lot below the retail price, and I remember when this watch was released, it was so hard to get. Actually, me and my friends, we all had no chance to get it, and now you can actually buy it below the retail price. Moving on to JLC, a blue dial Polaris for 7,600 US dollars and two reversals for around 3,500 US dollars. The Moser and C watches, a Pioneer Center Seconds for 12,000 US dollars and a Heritage for 11,000 US dollars. More Breitling watches, a Pistachio Dial Premier for 6000 US dollars. A Montbrion Legend Brown Dial for 4200 US dollars. And a Navitimer Heritage for 14700 US dollars. Next, to the Super Ocean Turquoise dial for 4000 US dollars. And a few more Navi timers and our aerospace models. The Tudor watches we can find over here. A 
a bronze black bay for 4,500 US dollars, a black pelagos for 3,800 US dollars, and I think this is the recent release, so actually also this one now trading already below the retail price, a two-tone chronograph for 5,300 US dollars, a black bay 39 for 3600 US dollars and a blue pelagos for 3800 US dollars. The boutique edition black bay ceramic is already sold. And one of my favorite pre-owned Tudor watches here the Heritage Chronograph for 3,400 US dollars. So much for the Tudor watches. For Panerai we can find this Lumino Marina at 5,000 US dollars. A Radio Mir at 5,000 US dollars as well. And a few more Lumino models which are all ranging between six to nine thousand US dollars. <laughs> and ending the video with Omega, a James Bond Seamaster for eight thousand US dollars. A Speedmaster 57 for five thousand US dollars and a classic Speedmaster at 4,500 US dollars. And here we have another vintage Seamaster. I think this was actually the first Seamaster that appeared in the James Bond movie. And this one is currently trading at 6,500 US dollars. And last but not least, we have the Speedmaster Racing, of which I think we also had a recent new release but this is the old version for 9200 US dollars and with that we have it guys this is the current selection you can find at the pre-owned watch store here in Dubai what do you think guys any model you think that is a great deal let me know in the comments below and see you in the next one bye bye